This is the Dell XPS 13 Plus. This laptop came out about six to eight months ago in 2022. In this video, I want to tell you my opinions and what do I think about this laptop today after six or eight months, what's the price and all of that. So as far as the design, the laptop feels super nice in the hand. In my opinion, this is probably like the MacBook of Windows. Beautiful design. We see the Dell logo on the back of the, uh, the laptop. Uh, on the bottom of the laptop, we have a couple of uh, rubber pieces there. Uh, so when you put the laptop on a table, neither the laptop or your table is gonna get scratched. We also see the air vents. And also at far ports, uh, we only have two ports. Uh, both uh, USB Type-C on each side. As far as the thickness, the laptop is uh, pretty thin. I still think the MacBooks are a little bit thinner than this uh, machine. And uh, another thing that is new this year is, as you can see, the track pack uh, doesn't have really the uh, separation. It's all one piece. Uh, the, the laptop offers a Windows Hello and also fingerprint uh, scanner. I'm not a big fan of the Windows Hello. I think it was taking too long, in my opinion, to uh, unlock the screen. Even the uh, fingerprint scanner, I don't think it's as fast as the one that we have on the MacBooks. As far as the keys or the keyboard, uh, they're pretty good size, but they are really close to each other. There's basically no, no space or separation between the keys or the, or the keyboard. So that might be an issue for somebody, but for the most part, I had a really good experience. And as far as the track pack, and the gestures, it works pretty good, but my only complaint is that because it doesn't have the separation uh, between the rest of the uh, bottom part and the trackpad, there were multiple times when I was actually uh, putting my fingers outside of the area and I was not able to execute what I wanted to do. So I had to basically reposition my hand. So I can see that as a little bit of a, a problem for some people. Uh, you're gonna have to get used to where you position your hand. Other than that, for the most part, um, it, it was pretty good. Uh, as far as the price, when this machine came out, it was $1,649.99. Uh, right now, it's going between a thousand and um, nine hundred dollars i was so lucky to find this machine as an open box uh, at best buy for six hundred dollars it was missing the uh, charger but the machine overall uh, looked pretty good uh, when it goes to the uh, screen i think it looks uh, really good this is the uh, hd full hd plus or plus um, so it's a little bit uh, less resolution than another model that they offer but it also helps with the battery. The screen is touch. And as far as uh, the processor, we have the Intel 12th generation Core i7 with the Evo platform. Uh, also, um, the uh, processor goes up to 4.7 gigahertz. This particular model offers 512 gigabyte of uh, internal storage, 16 gigabyte of RAM, and the graphics are the Intel Iris XE graphics, which are integrated, not dedicated graphics. So, as you can see here, uh, I was able to test the graphics by editing some videos in uh, 4K60. And uh, to my surprise, uh, the machine was actually doing really, really good. I believe this year uh, they incremented or improved the uh, processor uh, and it supports up to 28 watts. I tested this on battery in the high performance mode and I also tested this in the high performance mode with the charger connected. I wasn't really um, able to tell a big difference, uh, basically two minutes of a difference be between um, editing the videos on battery and editing the videos uh, with the machine is connected to the charger. So I think for the most part, you're getting about the same performance, either if you are on battery or connected to the charger. As far as the screen brightness, I believe it's 500 uh, nits. It gets pretty bright. 
I also uh, was testing the uh, speed of the read and write uh, of the uh, hard drive and I was uh, transferring here I believe it was like a 14 gigabyte folder that I had on an external hard drive and I can tell you that it was reading and transferring the, the files really really quick so no complaints with that I was using here the program uh, CapCut to edit videos I was editing with uh, proxies but regardless uh, when I was uh, scrolling uh, back and forth through the timeline there was no lag whatsoever there was nothing bad that I can say about this machine when it goes to editing the videos I can see I can tell that comparing to the previous model uh, the graphics even though they are integrated they are doing way way better job than the previous model uh, the editing was a pretty quick the total time for the project uh, I think it was like 26 minutes and 50 something seconds for a almost 14 minute project in 4k 60 I think it's pretty decent uh, time pretty decent uh, uh, performance uh, what else I can tell you uh, also the technology is uh, there, there there's a version of OLED and also LCD and uh, in terms of the uh, webcam I believe is uh, I believe it's 1080 I'm not 100% sure uh, the operating system it's 64-bit uh, and uh, we have dual speakers, so I'm gonna have you listen to a couple of uh, audio samples here. Already we have had a lot of that. <laughs> but no matter where you are in Korea, you are never in the wrong place to try barbecue. There is nothing better than Korean barbecue. Meat served to your table raw. Okay, so as you can tell, the sound it's actually pretty good. Uh, the speakers are underneath uh, the laptop on both uh, sides, uh, but they sound really, really good. I will have to see if they are comparable to a MacBook, uh, but even if a MacBook sound better, these speakers are really, really good. So my overall conclusions is that I'm, I'm really impressed uh, with the machine. I was really satisfied with this machine, especially the price. Now that it came down, uh, if you can get this for like seven, probably I, I wouldn't pay eight hundred dollars because for that money you can buy a MacBook. But if you get this for seven, seven hundred and fifty dollars or less, really, really good deal. Beautiful machine, good battery life, good screen, good speakers, good performance. The two things that I did not like was, like I said before, the trackpad uh, design. Also, the keys or the keyboard. Uh, they are the the keys are white, and the color of the letters are black. But it's not like a strong black. So during the day, I can see the keys. I can see the letters but not as clear as you can see the letters on a MacBook with the black keys and the white letter. Uh, other than that, I'm really, really uh, satisfied and happy with this uh, machine. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please uh, give me a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you later.